Watch it, Bubba. <laughs> She's like, oh, no, you don't, boy. Good morning. It is a wonderful day out here. Turn cold again, mid-May, and it's cold again, but that usually happens around here. Not a freeze or anything, but we are back to wearing sweatshirts and things like that. But it's going to be a great week. We have a lot of exciting things coming up here on the farm. Uh, I'm going to try to vlog the entire week. I've done this before. Day in the life. Week in the life of farmers. It's a huge week here. The chickens go to the processor. Uh, and then a week from today, a whole batch of hogs go to the processor. Along with Lane's graduating high school. He's turning 18. It's just a whole lot of things going on. I'm going to take you guys along for all of it. So I'm in the brooder. It's pretty empty now. We've got one little section of it with some new layers. About to get them fed and watered. But speaking of Lane and his graduation and birthday, if you want to send him a card, he loves cards. He's always loved getting mail. Feel free to um, send us one. Our P.O. Box is P.O. Box 761 in Rosebud, Arkansas. Uh, it's down below for you to uh, look at and copy down. He would love a card from you guys. Uh, just a little note of encouragement or whatever. Um, he's always loved getting mail. So uh, just wanted to throw that out there in case you want to. And look at these cute little chicks. Lots of new layers for the future. We got, um, these are Highland Browns. And then you can see the little black ones. Those came from Jeff over at Bobblehead. Those are Copper Morans. Now it is time to head to the back. These meat chickens, they've only got like two more days. Look at all the feed. This is for 15 hogs, 200 chickens, and then about 500 probably meat chickens as well. All non-GMO feed we have brought in. We gotta haul water to the meat chickens. Whew, never ending. Next stop is get these moved. They are getting enormous. We actually went eight weeks probably won't do that again probably will go seven we're starting to lose some um so yeah we've probably pushed it a little too long i would suggest seven weeks for sure All right, got the chickens done. Those chickens are by far the hardest, nastiest job we do. Lynn, do you agree? Uh -huh. But we got them done. We got like two more days of it maybe, and but it's time to go move on to the pigs right now. This is what it looks like after a flash flood yesterday.
is part of the job, we'll test your patience trying to walk around in there with pigs all up in your business. Next, gonna get these cows moved and I think I see a new calf. Well, everything just went haywire. It's pretty much a welcome to the new week. Welcome to Monday morning. Let me show you what's going on. So the hot wire broke when we were pulling on it and walking it up. And we have got cows from one end of this field to the other. They are no longer bunched up in a nice little paddock. So we have got to, uh, Lane is down there getting the wire up. We're gonna move it out in front of them. With the crazy week we have, we're just gonna give them several paddocks, push them back into um, at least somewhat of a bunch. You can see up by the schooner, there's a whole group of calves. I flew up past them up there. There's the highway. Shut those gates so they can't get out. We've got Emily coming with supplies to fence out in front of them, at least push them back this way a little bit. All right, we got a wire put up in front of them. Had to call in Emily for supplies. Got them pushed back together. So now they're set up maybe for part of the week and maybe we won't have to mess with them uh, as much this week with everything else we got going on. So maybe it's a blessing in disguise. All right, next thing, Lane is on the tailgate. We gotta try to catch this new baby and band and tag it. This may be crazy footage and she acts cuckoo, so she may try to get us, but we'll try to get you some of it on camera. Watch it, Bubba. <laughs> She's like, oh no you don't, boy. Well, we did not get the calf tagged. The cow tried to get us. Um, and we tried twice because they're easiest to catch when they're first born. Even if you let them get a few hours old, it gets more difficult. They get their feet under them. But we tried, couldn't get it. So we'll have to come back later with Ben and see if he has some pointers. Uh, we got the chicken chores done. Getting lots of eggs right now. These girls rotate around. It's about time to move them again. We'll probably put that off for this week though. There's still quite a bit of grass and stuff up there. Uh, it's rained a couple times. It's why it's a little muddy down here, but probably wait till next week and get them moved again just because we have such a crazy busy week this week. So the next thing we do on Mondays after we get chores done is egg delivery day. We have a couple of big customers that um, take several dozen eggs so we go deliver those to them and uh, we actually forgot the camera so we've already been to town and done that and we try to work in a couple other errands when we do that. Now it's back to water chickens again, um, and we've got another job or two, and then we have got this day wrapped up. Well, Lane and I are going to water the chickens. What have you got? Those are beautiful. You miss. All right. The cat really wants to help too. Yeah, he does. He wants in on anything and everything. <laughs> Bobby cat, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. So that's it for this Monday. Last thing, we're gonna get all these eggs arranged. We got eggs in fridges we need to rearrange so we know what's the freshest and what's the oldest and then we are calling it a day. 
whew, chores were a booger this morning, but we got through it, got all our stuff done, and we're ready for the week. Hope you guys are too. We'll see you guys on the next one. God bless.